and we're gonna basically get into these um, tarot card readings with the Moon and Leo. The girl do you raise retrograde, so we're gonna see what the Moon and Leo gotta say for every time on the senses. What are the things that you pretty much need to let go so you can clean up the stage for all every summer and You gotta let go of something, you gotta basically clean that stage up. Queen of Pentacles. So that means you need to basically be open and free and naked right now when it comes to receiving grand support, when it comes to resources, material, and structure. So be aware of that that can be basically dealing with um your structure that you're basically building on or the people, places, and things that you're dealing with. Now we're gonna basically see what you need to um Start putting your attention towards two right now. Feel me? You gotta put some attention towards two when it comes to this moon and Leo. Or add you some on the senses. What you need to be putting your attention towards two. Gotta put your attention towards something. Put your attention towards a new way of thinking, communicating, and of course sharpening your mind right now. Like a uh, pencil or eraser. And we're gonna basically see what you need to be basically expressing right now on stage. Because <clears throat> you gotta express something on stage. You gotta express something on stage. Or we got a card. Every time with the sentences, you need to be expressing your um, feelings, your emotions on a deeper level. Feel to me? And also, you need to be basically putting yourself into a circumstance situation of looking at all spectrums. And, of course, seeing what you need to basically let go. So, we got six. Right, we got the Queen of Pentacles. So, this is basically putting yourself into a circumstance situation of four or five. And we got ten. So, you basically, with this um, Moon and Leo energy for every time on the sentence, you basically need to be utilizing... The lead, the um Capricorn energies, aka Pluto and Capricorn, you need to be basically building shit. You need to be basically tearing shit down and coming up with a new way of on um, a new way of structure when it comes to your money, your resources, your material, your mind, your intellect, and your feelings and emotions. That's basically what you're dealing with for every someone's sentences. Now we're gonna basically get into Taurus, someone's sentences real fast. Now we're going to basically get into your tour some more in the sentences. We're going to see what you need to let go on the stage. What you need to be like, basically learn how to let go when it comes to the stage. Because you got to let you gotta learn how to let go on some shit. Leo is squaring you right now. So you got to let go of some shit. Or tour some more in the sentences. Tour some more in the sentences. You got the Knight of Wands. So you need to let go of some visions that you are unsure about and not clear on. Which means certain visions that no longer serve you. Certain um, expressions that no longer serve you. Pretty much need to be doing some shadow work right now, or um, throw someone in the learn how to do shadow work right now. So it could be someone or something that's in your environment, your friends, your siblings, your neighbors, or somebody that you need to really, really pretty much let go of, or you know, get yourself distance away from because you're going through some unexpected changes. <clears throat> now you got the Knight of Wands, we're gonna see why you got the Knight of Wands. We're gonna see what you need to be to give me your, your attention to during the sign, what you need to learn how to be giving your attention to during the sign for all the tourists. I'm gonna send this. All right, we got a card. Give attention towards your new. You need to pretty much come up, learn how to learn how to come up with a new way of reacting and responding. Of course, giving feelings, your feelings, and emotions, and your attention towards your feelings and emotions, aka Ace of Cups. So come up with a new way of dealing with a feeling and emotion that can kind of like resonate with you and give attention to that shit. Let that shit grow. And when you, we're gonna see what you need to be basically expressing on stage for all the tourists and the senses. <coughs> Makes sense. You need to be expressing all the passion, motivations, and dedication that you've been basically carrying on your back. Which means you need to be basically expressing and releasing some shit right now, feel me? Because when that new moon going Virgo is going to try you. So you want to make sure that you have the gift and the trying to have freeness and not have baggage on you. So we're going to add this up. We got 22, 23. So you're basically dealing with a sun moon ascendant Leo. Or you need to utilize the moon and Leo energies or the Leo energies fixated earth. Fixated, you learn how to be fixated in your own way, expressing yourself during the song. And the better you can do that, the better you can correspond with these energies and of course be moving forward for all Leo Summon, for all Taurus Summon the sentences. Now we're gonna get into Gemini Summon the sentences. Now we're gonna get into you, Gemini Summon the sentences. What do you need to let go right now for me? This moon and Leo, because you gotta let some shit go. You can't be heavy. Gotta let some shit go, Leo. Uh, Gemini Summon the sentences. What you need to be letting go right now? You gotta let go of something. The moon, what the moon needs you to let go right now, feel me? Gotta let go of some shit. Get me holding on to some shit. The moon need to basically bring in some new water, some new emotions, some new feelings. You gotta let go of something right now. All right, we got a, we got a card. We got the star card. So with the star card, you need to basically be letting go. You need, to, you're gonna have opportunities, good opportunities or bad opportunities. To hang on to something or let something go. So you need to be basically 
letting go of something that you've basically been giving your time to, aka a person, place, or thing that no longer serves you. Now right, we're gonna see why you got the star card, and we're gonna basically see what you need to basically be giving attention to. Hear me? What this moon and Leo? What you need to be giving attention to? All right. We got the um, six of cups. So you need to be giving attention towards your feelings and emotions about something that you basically spend time with on a day-to-day -day basis, on a daily -day process. We're going to also see where I got that card. We're going to see what you need to be expressing on stage right now. Because you got to get your ass on stage. What's the purpose of being on earth if you ain't getting on stage? All right. What you need to be expressing on stage is four of cups, which means you need to give your time and your energy towards something that's going to grow. Or looking at the bigger picture or something. AKA you need to sit back, meditate during this time with this with this moon. You also got the devil card. So you need to be expressing um some form of a structure, some form of attention when it comes to your love, your love life, or your love language. Mars is in Gemini, so that's dealing with passion, motivation, desire, sexual urges and shit. You may have to let some shit go. You may have to set some boundaries and limitations and restrictions on something. We also got a full moon scenario too for um for you guys too, because we got two cards. We got the Leo card, we got the Aquarius card. So you're, you're dealing with some full moon energies too, Gemini. Some of them sit your ass down, and relax. We also got the strength card. So you need to be basically giving your time and your energy towards something that's going to strengthen, strengthen you during the sound. And just, um, express some some strength, some some energy during the sound. 16, 20, 26, 29. 32. So you can deal with a someone in uh, Leo, or you need to utilize the Leo energies, which is going to basically bring opportunities for you to express some shit on stage. Good or bad. But sometimes shit may look good. Shit that's good for you could be bad for others. Shit that's bad for you could be good for others. So it's all about what you do with that energy. And how you correlate with it. And that's uh, Gemini's in a nutshell. We're going to get into Cancer, someone in the sentences. Right, when it comes to you cancel someone in the sentences, you guys are going to be basically dealing with a semi sex side, aka looking at the other side of things when it comes to expressing your feelings and emotions and what you give attention to. So, cancel someone in the sentences, you need to let go of something. With the moon and Leo, you're going to see what you need to let go. So, you got to let go of something. For all um, cancel someone in the sentences, what you need to let go right now. Alright, shit, damn. Oh, Alright, we got some shit. Damn, a whole lot of shit cancers. You need to let go of. Things that you're giving your emotional attention to, that's not a longer serving you. You need to let go of the world, aka things in the people, places, and things that's in your environment, your surroundings, your siblings, your neighbors, and shit. Something, someone that you need to give. You always got the um, eight of swords, so you need to get, um, let go of some shit that's on your mind deeply about something or transform it. You also need to let go of the things you value when it comes to passions, aka passions that no longer serve you or have your, your purpose. You need to let go of the um, New seeds that you're playing, aka when it comes to your money and the like, especially if it's some damage shit. Feel me? We're gonna see where I got these cards, and we're gonna see what you need to be giving your attention to. Cancel some more Oh, I can't. You'll be giving your attention to the shit that's in your environment and your surroundings, but make sure that the shit that's in your environment and your surroundings is not putting you on the cross or putting you, putting you into crucif to crucifixion energies. Feel me? Make sure you're giving attention to the shit that's in your environment and your surroundings. That's gonna kind of like allow you to be the representations of what you should do versus what you should not do. And we're going to see why I got the hangman card. We're going to see what you need to be expressing on stage for you cancel someone in the sentences. Alright, you got a card. Cancers, you got the knight of wands. <clears throat> so you need to be expressing your passion, your motivation, your dedication behind the scenes. So we got um, three, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 17, 18, 19, 20, 26. So you're dealing with a similar ascendant uh, Scorpio. Or you need to utilize the South Node Scorpio energies or the fixed water energies, aka stay down until you come up during this time. Or oh, cancel some of the sentences. Don't be expressing too much. Don't be putting too much on stage for me. The moon is a Leo. Don't express too much right now. Just sit back. Use your gift, aka Scorpio, and transform some shit. You need to let some shit go. You're heavy right now. I mean, you're too heavy. And you can, this can, this, this, um, these energies can kind of make you a breakthrough during this time. So. I'm gonna stick with that. Now, Leo, someone is sentences. We're gonna get into you guys. Now, we're about to get into you, Leo, someone in sentences. You're gonna be dealing with a conjunction, which means it's gonna mean you're gonna have a whole lot of power when it comes to your actions, your reactions, your personality, what you're personally expressing, what you personally got going on. Now, we're gonna basically see what you need to let go, Leo, someone in sentences. You gotta let something go. Oh, we got the first card. Oh, shit. You need to let go of your, your uh, opposite, aka your relationships. 
and the things that you're spending your time into, especially especially if the shit is not. Listen, you need to let go of shit that's making your water dirty and not making clean and bringing no growth. That's what you need to let go. You're gonna see why I got the star card. We're gonna see what you need to be giving your attention to. Oh shit! <coughs> All right, Leo, so you need to be giving your attention to um the page of wands, aka a new way of expressing yourself, a new way of planting seeds when it comes to your visions. Your passions, your motivations, your anger, and your aggressions, and your energy. We're gonna see why I got the page of wands, and we're gonna see what you basically need to be expressing on stage. So you're gonna always have the stage to express yourself. Cool. So we got the four of swords. So with the four of swords, you need to be expressing your mind, or expressing, or shedding from something during this time. Which means you got you're gonna be basically dealing with the four. You got the three of swords on top. Three swords, which is the environment, the surroundings. It's pointing down. Of course, you got the other sword, aka with them. So you need to put something to rest or express some form of transformation during the sun. This is like the full moon card. This is Cancer and Capricorn. So you need to be expressing some shit right now with the full swords. We're going to see what's the energy. You got uh, 12, 13. You did it with a sun moon sending in Cancer. So you need to utilize the moon energies or the Cancer energies to be cardinal. Coming up with a new way of dealing with your feelings and emotions and caring about that shit. <coughs> so care about yourself during the sun. Now we're about to get to see Virgo sun moon sentences. Leo. Now we're about to get into you, Virgo, some moon and sentences. You guys are going to be dealing with a uh, in conjunction, semi sex style. And seeing the other side of things. Now we're going to see what you need to be letting go, Virgo season. With the Leo moon, uh, you need to be letting go, aka the higher front, aka your feelings and emotions about things that's no longer serving or helping you during the sun. Emotional currents, you need to be letting go on how you feel about certain things and feel about certain people, places, and things. We're going to see why I got the Hierophant card. We're going to see what you need to be giving your attention to. You need to be giving your attention to, towards birth, growth, during this time, and your environment, your surroundings, or planting good seeds within your environment, your surroundings. Because what's, what's in your environment, your surroundings, is the fruits, the vegetables, and shit like that. You want to make sure your trees and your garden of Eve is looking perfect. It's looking professional. It's looking real good, a.k.a. it's looking <clears throat> real perfect, just like how you utilize those words, perfection. So you're dealing with some eight energy, so you need to be spending your time into something. Or transforming some shit or taking control of some shit. And we're gonna see why you got the Empress card. We're gonna see what you need to be expressing on stage. For all you Virgo some of the sentences, what you need to be <clears throat> You need to be expressing your feelings right now. When it comes to your money, your resources, your material. Expressing your way of feeling about seeing about things when it comes to money, resources, and material. Or expressing, you know, the things that you the things that you are uh, heard about, the things that you're unsure about. You need to be expressing all that shit on stage, getting that out for me. Make sure that you're Making sure that the um, clip is empty. You don't want to leave nothing in the clip. So we can deal with a, um, someone who's sending cancer. So you need to utilize the cancer energies, which is going to be a sextile towards you when it comes to your associations, <coughs> your groups, your acquaintances, and also your um, the things that you're building on. So yeah, you're going to be doing that energies. So be, you, make sure you utilize those energies for the better for the better purpose of you. And that's going to be it for um, Virgo, someone in the sentences. Now we're going to get to see you leave some someone in the sentences. Alright, we about to start it off with you Libra someone that's in this is. <clears throat> Now we're gonna we're gonna have an opportunity, aka a sextile when it comes to Leo. Opportunities to relate and express yourself. But also Leo falls and Libra. So um this puts you into a circumstance situation of could you could be dealing with some self doubt or you may basically need someone or something to um feel satisfied. <clears throat> but at the end of the day all you need is yourself and the guard with inside you. Now we're gonna see what you need to be letting go, Libra, for some moments in this We're just going to have the opportunity to let go of the Leo moon. You got to let something go. All right, shit. Yeah, it makes sense. Let go of all the baggage that you have when it comes to the things that you're carrying on your back. A.K.A. you can't balance everybody. You got to balance yourself first. <coughs> you by example first. And you may basically may not want to let something go. You may not want to um, burn bridges. And you may not want to um, make people feel some certain way about things, but you need to let some shit go. You the balance for me. This balance can come into good ways or bad ways. When you gotta curse a motherfucker out, you gotta kill a motherfucker. <coughs> That's how I go. We're gonna see why you got the ten of wands. And when to basically see what you need to be basically giving your attention to. Or leave her some more in the sentences. What you need to be giving your attention to. You gotta give your attention to something. You gotta give your attention to something, leave her. Leave it, you need to be giving your attention to attention to go the energy flows. <laughs> you 
need to be giving your attention towards things that's dealing with your environment, your surroundings, your friends, your siblings, your neighbors, aka the people, places, and things that you can build with. So you're dealing with some uh, cancer energy. So learning, you're dealing with a learning aspect on the sun. You're gonna see what's what you need to be expressing on stage for Libra. So you gotta express it. You gotta express yourself, Libra. All right. <clears throat> you need to be expressing your feelings and emotions when it comes to feeling the scene about your visions, your goals, and your passions. So you're dealing with a um. You're dealing with a similar in the um, Sagittarius, but you need to utilize the Jupiter and Neptune energies, aka your exaltation, to pretty much expand from your experiences and your meanings, your reasons, your principles, <coughs> and your theology and shit. <coughs> so you're gonna have opportunities of using fire. So use a whole lot of fire. You have to burn some shit. You have to burn the reality you know, for a little bit. <coughs> We're gonna get into your Scorpio someone synthesis. Now we're about to get into your Scorpio summer in the sentences. You guys are going to be having to learn how to not be too deep about things and express shit lightly. Now, Scorpios, you're going to be basically, you need to see what you need to learn, what you need to learn how to let go, even though you do this shit every day. But you need to learn how to let go. Scorpio summer in the sentences with the Leo moon. Gotta let go of some shit. Gotta let go of some shit. Let it go, let it go. Gotta let it go, Leo. Uh, Oh shit, you got the lovers card. So you need to be let you need to let go of things that you pay attention to deeply that no longer serves you. Or you need to let go of some someone or something, aka the lovers card. A person, place, or thing, or circumstance, situation that no longer serves you. <coughs> so put some moderation, boundaries, and limitation, restrictions, or some shit. You gonna see why I got the lovers card. We're gonna see what you need to be basically paying your attention to. The attention goes with energy flows. That's the Leo energy for Leo, Moon, and for Scorpios. What you need to be paying attention to for our. Uh, Scorpio something with the Which you need to be paying attention to. <coughs> Pay attention towards the backstabbers. AKA the people, places, and things that's talking shit behind your back. AKA the people, places, and things that's sending um, negative energy towards you. AKA reciprocate. Turn that energy around and make sure you create a shield so it can be blocked. It can be blocked. So that means you're basically coming down to some shit. Coming down to some deep shit. Watch out for individuals of snakes around you. Niggas, snakes. So you better watch who you trust. Uh, yeah. Now we're gonna see why you got that uh, ten of swords. And we're gonna see what you need to be expressing. What's up with some of the sentences? What you need to be expressing. All right, we got that. <coughs> we got the emperor card. So you basically, this is your card. This is Mars. So you need to be expressing um, some form of passion, motivation, and dedication when it comes to building and structuring yourself. Structuring yourself. We got 1620. So you did it with a summer once in the Taurus. So you need to utilize the North Node in Taurus. You need to utilize Uranus in Taurus. You need to utilize um, North Node in Taurus, Uranus in Taurus, <coughs> which is your opposition. So that you're going to be dealing with some oppositions. But these oppositions, you need to take these things and, of course, learn from it. So Uranus in Taurus will be basically affecting your seventh house, so your relationships and how you relate for me. So you need to be basically, you know, the, what you need to be doing is changing shit up, being unique and original. And using shit towards spirituality and growth during this time, and not letting a no circumstance situation to take you off task right now. So yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be a tough time, but of course you can utilize these oppositions to get on your one too. Now we about to get into Sagittarius, someone in synthesis to see what's happening for you guys. Now when it comes to um, Sagittarius, someone in synthesis, <coughs> you guys are dealing with a trying to gift. So when it comes to the circumstance situation, you're gonna have to get to expand and of course give attention to shit. We're going to see what you need to be letting go during the song, for me. Sagittarius, what you need to let go and get away from. What you're going to have to gift to let go and get ready, get away from during the song. Oh, shit. That shit did a bad flip. You're going to have the gift to let go and get away from certain ideas and certain expressions and feelings and emotions or certain individuals that can be backstabbers. We're going to see where I got the five of swords. I'm going to basically see what you need to be giving attention to. And that's what's going to basically be growing. Put this Leo moon for you <coughs> before we get into the new moon. What you need to be giving attention to? Sagittarius, I'm going to tell you, you got to give your attention to some shit. Sagittarius, you need to be giving your attention towards Ace of Pentacles, new way of conducting your business, your money, your career, and your status. So you deal with the six energy, so it's all about attention, go attention right now. And also a learning process for you. So we're going to see why you got the uh, Ace of Pentacles, why you got the Five of Swords, and we're going to see what you need to be expressing on stage. Sagittarius, I'm going to tell you, Cause you gotta express yourself through the fire. This is what you came to do. You came here to express your shit. <clears throat> you need to express the King of Swords, the Knight of Swords. With the Knight of Swords, you need to be expressing your way of thinking, communicating, 
and and um, sharing during the sun when it comes to your um, views, your points of references, your communication, and share these ideas either with your shadow or with the individuals that you have deep connections with. <coughs> now we got 12, 13, 18. So you're dealing with a summer on uh, Sagittarius, or you just, just use the Sagittarius energies to um, be yourself. and do, Just be yourself during the sun. That's it. Be yourself. You're going to have to get to be yourself. <coughs> now we're about to get into your Capricorn summer on the sentences. Now, when it comes to um, Capricorn, someone in the synthesis, you guys are going to be dealing with misunderstandings. For me, because you're all about all work, no play. For me, you're, you're, you're not really too much on expressing shit, depending on your mood sign. Your focus is on, you know, being being a boss, <clears throat> not wanting too much attention, not caring about too much attention. You just want to basically get on your one, two, get in and get out type shit. For me. And just collect your resources, your material, and of course, your structure in ways where. It just benefits you. Your cardinal, cardinal Earth. Yeah, all about initiating the way about to think through practical Leo want to express and get a vision. So it's kind of like going to bring in, in conjunction, which is a little bit of lava in between. But we're going to basically see what you need to be letting go. Capricorn, someone in the sense, you got to let something go. You got to let it go. And this go for all Capricorn, someone in the sentences, or wherever you have Capricorn in too. Okay? You got to let something go on the sign for all Capricorn, someone in the sentences. You got to let something go. What you got to let go, Capricorn? Gotta let go. Let go of the seventh. Oh shit. <clears throat> let go of the seven pentacles. Let go of seven of seven of the pentacles. Let go of you know. You need a release right now. You need to get on your spiritual mechanism of seeing. Be on the outside looking in during the sun when it comes to your um seven of pentacles. The things that you give your time to, money and resources. Also, you need to let go of helping people, places, and things during the sun. For me, you all create a balance between that. For me. And we're gonna see what you need to be giving your attention to. Capricorn, someone in the sentences. What you need to be giving your attention to. You gotta give your attention to something. Something or someone. Or yourself. Give your attention towards your four cups. Your emotional stance on things. That's what you need to be giving your attention to. Or how you feel on the inside. Go with the size yourself. And we also need to be basically, we also gonna see what you need to be expressing on stage. Capricorn, someone in the sentences. What you need to be expressing on stage right now. Alright. You need to be expressing judgment, a.k.a. death. Pluto and Capricorn. That's what you need to be expressing. Transforming some shit. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So you're dealing with a summer on Sunday Capricorn. <coughs> or so you could be dealing with a Saturn, or you could be dealing with Aries. But you're dealing with a summer on Sunday Capricorn. Or you need to utilize the Capricorn energies, a.k.a. be yourself. Use the Pluto and Capricorn energies and just be yourself on the sun. That's it. Be yourself. Be yourself, cops. Okay, Aquarius, you're next. Now we're about to get into your Aquarius, someone in the You guys are going to be basically dealing with some oppositions, which means the Leo moon energy is going to oppose your sun, moon, and your personality, and wherever you got first at. So you're going to get opposed in these areas. Now we're going to see the areas where you're going to be basically getting opposed at, but we're going to see what you need to be letting go of Aquarius, someone in the You got to let go of something. Okay, we got it. We got something. All right. Let go of the time that you give towards visions and desires and passions and no longer serve you. Or you need to let go of some shit that you be giving your time. We're going to see where I got the eight of wands. And we're going to basically see what you need to be giving your attention to. Or create some on the sentences. What you need to be giving your attention to. Give your attention towards planting and coming up with new ways. They're going to communicate and plant seeds. So what's on your mind is what you basically giving fruit and growth to right now. Could be good or bad. So you need to be expanding right now. And we're gonna see why you why you got the page of swords. We're gonna see what you need to be expressing on stage. For Aquarius someone in the sentences. What you need to be expressing on stage. What you need to get on stage and expressing. Alright. So we got a card. Alright, you need to be getting on express stage and expressing the world, aka your world or the world. Or your thing in your environment. Now you're dealing with a, um, someone sitting in Gemini, so you use the Mars and Gemini energies to um, move forward with these energies. So put passion, motivation, dedication towards your way of thinking, communicating, and sharing ideas, and you'll be alright. Now we're gonna get last but not least, Pisces. Now Pisces, someone in the you guys are gonna be dealing with an inconjunction, which means you're gonna be dealing with misunderstandings when it comes to your one, two, and your way of expressing yourself, and your way of basically 
being in the light or being behind the scenes. Now, when it comes to um, Pisces, what you need to be letting go, we're going to basically find that out right now. Got to let go of something. Let go of person. Ooh. Pisces, let go of the things that's in your environment, the people that's in your environment, the ideas that's in your environment, the shit that's breaking your heart that's in your environment, or certain things that's in your environment or your surroundings. It could be siblings, neighbors, or people, places, and things that's bringing heartbreaks or um, bringing energies that you don't want within your space. We're going to see where I got the um, three of swords. When it comes to the heart, we're gonna basically also see what you need to be giving your attention to <coughs> for all Pisces, some of the senses. What you need to be giving your attention to. What you need to be giving your attention to. And you need to be giving your attention towards how you feel <coughs> and your way of expressing yourself. You also need to be giving your attention towards your environment, your surroundings, and the people, places, the things that you can kind of like build with and grow with. Or giving attention towards bringing new birth within your life. So we're dealing with 11. So we're dealing with some, um, Taurus energies and some Aquarius energies. Now we're going to see what you need to be expressing on stage. Spicy, someone in sentences. What you need to be expressing on stage. What you need to be getting on, on stage and expressing during this time. Alright. <clears throat> you need to get on stage and express your mind or plant good seeds when it comes to expressing your mind on stage and your intellect and your visions. We're going to add this up. So we got um one, four, 9, 12. So you, either you need to be yourself or you need to utilize the Mars and Gemini energies to better help you, even though it's going to be a learning process for you. But you also can be, you can be yourself or you, can use it, or you can use the energies and the trends in the sky or use the things that's in your environment, your surroundings. That can kind of like better help correlate with what you basically need to be doing on this song. Now we're about to get into this Uranus and Retrograde readings for all of your excellence. 